back, everybody! To Toad Town! Wahoo! <laughs> I feel like I need to practice my Toad voice since uh, this game is bound to have a lot of them. So welcome back to Random Rice. My name's Sam. And uh, if you are returning from a previous video, thank you so much for coming back. I uh, can use all the help, all the viewers. Uh, and if you're new, well, welcome. We'd love to have you here. We have a good time, I think. Or at least I do. I don't know about... Oh, the other end is blocked. Guess not going in there. I, I, I have a good time making these videos, and I hope you have a good time watching them. Well, let's see here. What do we got? We're trying to get to Princess Peach's castle. Looks like there's a macho Goomba. Ain't gonna be so macho once I'm done with him. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, I just I just noticed the little little crying white flag there. Very cute. Too bad he's not gonna have it. Oh, oh, okay. I guess you cannot uh, keep smacking him. Uh, moments of invincibility. So do not smack while flashing. You've been warned, gameless. Buy him. Nope, just the one. A little door! And how do I get up there? Do it, knock them down. I'll give me the coins! I'll give me the coins, I need all the money! It's not, there is, however. Uh, nothing in there. There is a little dude in there. It's a little Spike! Hello, Spike! Oh, be you! I thought you might be one of those hideous folded guys or something. Nope. Uh, is there anything else in here? You do anything? What are those folded things anyway? I've been hiding in here ever since the moment I saw one. Oh, boring little place. I don't know what's going on though. I'm not gonna waste the time trying to figure it out. So. Last time, we were talking about the War of the End of the World. And I was telling you all about the Little Blessed One. And um, I guess I'm on the dock, guys. You, I didn't know. Did you know that? <laughs> Man, I'm on the dock. So the Little Blessed One uh, had a tragic family. His family died from drinking poisonous water uh, while the town was in a drought. And everybody was gone. But, so three older brothers, uh, older siblings, died along with both of his parents. And only he and his younger sister survived. We'll save. We'll save. Why not? Save! Thank you. Only, oh, there's another one. Only he and his younger sister survived. And his sister went to this one lady. And he went to his father's, you know, to be taken care of, uh, to his father's apprentice. Uh, the one-eyed man as he is known. And this guy is a stinking jerk. You know, he's stinking working him to the bone. You know, back in cobbling, so he, he has some experience, I imagine. But it's just horrible to the little blessed one. Which he's not known as the little blessed one yet. He's just a, a little boy. Oh. Yes. Oh, there's a little sniff it. Keep it on the down low, would ya? I'm just trying to save my own sniff. If you catch my drift, hiding out here until them things are history. Yeah, suppose I could tell you some stuff though while I'm here. Hey, I'm not the owner. Have a sample on the house. <laughs> oh man, it's giving away a free sample? First one's free. Rabbit espresso makes you fast. Turtle tea. Why would you want that? Does it... I'm gonna try the turtle tea because I don't know why you would want it, so I'm gonna. Thanks, now scram! Ooh, I'm slow. <laughs> oh my goodness, how long does this last? I can't even jump high! This is horrible. Oh, oh it doesn't last that long. I'm guessing the other one would have been just as long, so pretty useless, all in all. 
So he, so the little blessed one, the little baby boy, poor guy, he's being abused. He's, you know, but the women of the town pity him because they were friends with his mother who died, and they see, you know, how he's being mistreated. So they get together and they talk to the one-eyed man, and they're like, "Hey, you gotta let this kid, you know, cut him some slack, let him go through." Uh, flip. What's it called? I'm not Catholic, so I don't. Uh, it's the, like, go through confessions and, uh, prepare for communion. So, you know, because the women gang up on him, essentially, he's like, alright, whatever. I'll, I'll let you, uh, take this boy and, you know, do whatever. And he goes through the classes. Just take this and forget what happened. Oh, he's gonna give me something? Corns! Uh, give me the corns! Think nothing of that gift, it's a mere trinket. After all, this home was built with the proceeds of a lucrative confetti sales operation. There are big coins in confetti business. Come and see me any time, and I will show you the finest luxury confetti you ever had the pleasure of scattering. Uh, hmm, okay. I don't, know, I don't know why you would buy confetti, you can get it for free. Uh, no. Uh, so he goes, and the little blessed one, the little boy, he is, like, enthralled with all the Catholic business. He just, lo he's loving it. He, he is praying all the time. He's, like, helping the poor. He is, he's doing all kinds of stuff. He's just, he's, you know, communion. And that's why they call him the little blessed one. Because they feel like he's touched by uh, the Holy Spirit or something. And uh, that was a dirty trick. How was I supposed to know there was a Goomba in there? How was I supposed to know? Tell me this. How was I supposed to know? All right. So not hard, at least all the way around. Bop. Uh, and eventually, the other man that we were mentioning, the counselor. A priest, wandering priest dude. He goes to the little blessed one's town, and the little blessed one is like, "Allow me to follow you as like your disciple. Let me join you on your quest for whatever, spreading your weird uh, end of the world message." And the uh, the counselor is uh, not quite into it. He's like. All right, you want to become my disciple? It's not easy, man. You wear this thing, and he pulls out this uh, kind of like a wire, like a that he has tightened around his waist. Ooh, how do I get over there? Uh, uh, oh man, is there like a? It's gotta be a way to get over there, right? Come on, man. Do I hit something? Oh, it's on that side. Ugh. That must be that door that I can't get through. So he pulls out this wire, and it's like bruised all around his waist. He's got cuts. He's got... It's just gnarly. And he tells the little blessed one. He's like, hey, kid, wear this for six months until I come back. I think it's like, you know, because he's a fanatic at this point. He's like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll do it. Oh, there's a, there's a little shag guy back there. So he does. He wears it for six months, you know, and he's in pain. But this kid is such a fanatic that he actually tightens it. He doesn't want it even to be easy. He, like, tightens it as much as it'll go. Like, all the time. He just keeps tightening it. And uh, eventually, the counselor comes back and finds him. And is like, wow, okay. Uh, come follow me then. <laughs> and that's, that's what happens. Little blessed one joins him. And they're wandering around, preaching his message. Oh, you didn't give me anything. Come on, man. So, the the whole time in the book, too. Uh, the book, by the way, uh, 100 Years... No, wrong book. <laughs> uh, the War of the End of the World. The whole time in the book, uh, there is this other storyline that's happening. It, come on, Mario. 
But see, I mentioned this last time. His, like, paper aesthetic makes it hard. Or, I don't know. Maybe you don't have... I don't know. It's, it's, like, hard to tell where he's standing in space. I, I don't know. So the whole time, there's this other storyline of this Scotsman who we'll talk about after I do this. So, what? The bridge is broken? Come on, man. Now, how are we going to get to the Peach's Castle? It's not like we can just jump in an underground tube, travel through it somehow, and pop out on the other side, can we? Aha! Little do you know, my dear, that we are indeed in a Mario game where such an occurrence is bound to happen sooner or later. Ooh, another shag, guy. Yeah. So there's a Scotsman, and I already mentioned before in the previous video how it's all about political unrest. And this Scotsman is... If you're trying to get to Peach Castle, take the shore over there. Okay. I guess not. So the Scotsman... I need a manhole hook? Come on, just pry your dumb little fingers in there, Mario. Pull it up. Alright, handsome shy guy. Keep a lookout for any handsome shy guys out there. So, oh, that guy? I imagine that's, that's the one. We found a handsome. Of course, it can't be handsome now that he's got bite marks all in him. He's been scarred. So the Scotsman, he's like a political activist. He, he got thrown out of a bunch of places. Uh, nope. I just have to keep pulling. Pushing. Nope. Uh, through the window. And he's basically trying to do the same thing in uh, Brazil. He is going around trying to gather followers. I mean, kind of similar. I guess that there's a, juxtap a juxtaposition uh, between the... Uh, the counselor and the Scotsman because the Scotsman is all about liberating the people that they don't need religion that he actually hates religion because he sees it as uh, reducing the like the mentality of the people and allows them to be manipulated if anyone could defeat the world's largest most disgusting goomba I knew it'd be you Mario hold on you're red just like the other shy guy and nearly as handsome oof so do you have the thing we need to open up the sewer lid? I don't know what you're talking about, but that hook isn't here. Check out the red brick over there at the port. That's where I left it. Oh, thank you. We should go check it out, Mario. Should should we go check it out, Mario? Uh, yeah. Why do you gotta ask? Give me that good confetti -ness. So... Yeah, because he hates religion and uh, is all about the science. Is that science is the way to free the people. It it empowers them with knowledge. Uh, pro tip, by the way, if you move back right in the middle, you grab all the coins in like a second. Oh, whoa! Oh. Get out of here! So the Scotsman is basically trying to do that. And uh, the government, the Republic, does not necessarily like his extremist views. Because, uh, like, the church already kind of got demoted a little bit in society. But he just wants to do away with it altogether. Do you feel like Mario feels karma around here somehow? It's almost like there aren't any more giant monsters trying to eat buildings. And us! Oh, is that all of them? Could have used a few more. It's okay. I kind of like those guys. Fun fight. Oh. Yeah. Get back to your paper mache monster. Oh, it's you. Thanks for saving us earlier. Here's a little something for the effort. Ah, <laughs> uh, why? Thank you. Yeah. We're just gonna play it safe. Stay here forever. Shh. Good luck, Mario. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, so as he's spreading his message, he goes to this uh, newspaper office trying to you know, put up some propaganda, which oh, dang, how do I get over there? Which uh, they won't take, and he's like, whatever. Uh, and the whole time, he's you know got this mission of spreading his message. The counselor is going around, and you actually find out, or, well, it's not actually stated explicitly. I don't think these are, I think these are toad shops that aren't open yet. Yeah. It's not stated explicitly, but there's one point where some soldiers are like, wow, these extremists came through here. And just, like, we thought it was a, some kind of procession. And they just thinking wrecked us, man. They killed a bunch of guys. So, you know this... It sounds like the group that the counselor has been building up. And, you know, he's wacky enough to do that kind of thing. Because he's all pissed of the Republic coming to power because they demoted the church and they, they got state institutionalized uh, marriage. He's like, no, marriage is supposed to be just from the church. The state doesn't need to get involved. And then he's also upset with the census because he's he's really paranoid he's like oh they're they're gonna keep track of us they're they're gonna which i mean i guess they are in a way <laughs> that's the point of the census but they're like they're, they're trying to keep track of us to know who to kill basically because they're it's the end times and they're trying to determine the 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 chosen you know the christians and or the catholics and the non-catholics just to kill us off so he's freaking out and oh, what was it the rec red brick building oh is that the one with the door it's gotta be the one all the way over here so he's freaking out and you know killing peeps and yes and it, it's it's wild but the other guy i guess hates him and oh sorry <laughs> sorry man but there was nothing in here Oh, I think there's something in here. It could be. It smells like those old guys were messing around in here forever. Can't remember what voices I gave them. It's too many characters. Whoa, the hammer of you sure to shake things up. Uh, did those boxes just move? Hit it again. Yeah. Oh, is that how you get the coins over there too? Is it like only activated after you? Ew, paper nice. Grab the coins. Grab the... Uh, grab the coins! Yeah. I guess not. How do you... There's like rumblies. I can feel... Oh, okay. The, the rumblies aren't... It, I thought it was like a... It rumbles more when you're near it, but I guess it's just rumbles all the time. Hey, hey, got the jump on... Oh. Maybe, maybe that was the point. Because I got to jump on him and then he got to jump on me. I see your tricks. Line them up. Yeah, so it's it's crazy because I, I have a hard time identifying with either one of them. Because I don't like how extreme either position is. There's got to be a middle ground, you know. But I don't, I don't know. It's pretty crazy and that's that's all I've got so far it, it just talks about like the political situation pretty much and how the people are frustrated and don't know what to believe in so a lot of people believe in uh, the counselor and his message because it it plays into their fears of the government and of something bigger than them and it plays into their religious fervor and it's, it's kind of sad but he also does, because that's the thing, it makes you feel conflicted. Because you don't, you you like some of the things the counselor is doing, because he's helping the poor, and he's giving them food, he's giving the people, like, hope, something to believe in. How do I? But at the same time, you're, like, pissed that he's, like, just choosing people to kill, and he's, like, so paranoid. And then with the other guy, like, you, you really like his... Uh, 
you, you end up really liking his position on, or at least I do. Uh, like, ooh, is that it? Haha, <laughs> it is. I, I really like his position on, like, the importance of science and knowledge. And I, I really admire that and that he wants to empower the people to not just be sheeple and follow along with anything they hear, but to actually have opinions and thoughts. But at the same time he's saying all this, he is basically condemning, you know, he, he doesn't really, at least to the point that I've gotten, he doesn't allow for much discourse. He's very set in his ways and he's really, I mean, he's almost not quite, he doesn't kill people that I know of yet. I got the thing, so do I just go? Yes. Yes! I got the hook! <laughs> yes! Going down! <laughs> so I'm not really sure what to think about either the counselor or the Scotsman. And I'm, I'm curious to see how it plays out, because that's about as far as I get. Oh, it's dark, it's so dark in here! Why does everyone seem to like this place so much? Can you turn on the lights, Mario? Otherwise, it'll be dark all the way through this place. Except this. I'm guessing it's the big red button. Oh, it's a me! And the princess. Ah, in a form of flatness. Now she's all folded up. She's a folded up monstrosity. And... I think that's a good time to end this video. You know what? We got to the underground. I'm guessing after this, we'll be heading up to Princess Peach's castle. So if you enjoyed this video, I would uh, very much appreciate if you uh, like the video. It helps a lot, especially for a small channel such as my own. And if you really liked it, please subscribe. And if you really, really, really liked it, which, I mean, that's what I'm shooting for, but I don't know, maybe it's not that great. <laughs> I mean, we are in the early stages. Uh, maybe uh, share it with your friends, you know, somebody who likes Let's Plays, who likes talking about books. And, uh, we'll, you know, we're going to keep going with this stuff. I'm going to try to beat the game and finish reading the book. If, you know, finish one or the other first. I'm guessing we'll be the book first. You know, we'll keep moving with, uh, ooh, there's a toad on there. We'll keep moving with another game or another book. And it'll be a good time, you know, once I get the, my rhythm going, get a good formula going. So please subscribe, like, share it with your friends, and we'll join you next. We'll uh, you'll join me. You'll join me next time on Random Rice. Thank you. Um, bye.